So it's a good album. <laughs> the steel. Um, flocks of seagulls. You may have noticed the gas prices are starting to inch upward again. They may keep rising, but by how much? Should we be concerned just yet? Jen, good morning. Good morning. Did you take your gas selfie? Because yeah, hold on to now. that gas selfie. <laughs> you may not see those prices again. I mean, they've only ticked up a little bit, but seven days in a row now, the average price of gas is going higher. 20 cents. It just depends on your gas station owner, you know, and how much of a loss they've been taking, yeah. too. You know, but this is, of course, listen, before before we all get upset over 20 cents, they are down 123 days in a row, gas prices, and they are $1.22 cheaper than last year for one Tur gallon of Tur gas. So it's a nice little bit of money, still gives you that nice flush feeling, I think, at the gas pump. I think you're right. All right. Go ahead. I'm embarrassed. Give it to me. An entire industry <laughs> has high hopes for the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. It's the toy industry. Not those toys. Even Target is now selling official merchandise for 50 sales at one company. I knew they weren't listening back there. Um, <laughs> so this is at Target? At Target, if you go on their website, you can see many products that are officially sanctioned with the movie. <laughs> That's coming <laughs> out you. on Valentine's Day, right? The day before. The 13th, yep, on a Friday. So what would you do if a teenager handcuffed in the back seat of a cop car says hey could you let me out here so i don't get in trouble with my mom well jack vale put people on the streets of vegas to that test much of the packaged toddler meals that your kids make A groundhog bit the mayor's ear during a Groundhog Day ceremony in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin yesterday. First that he also then said, um, the, the, the groundhog said this, and then the groundhog's handlers corrected him and said, no, that's not what the groundhog said. <laughs> in other words, don't interpret the groundhog, I'll interpret the groundhog. Today's salute to troops is from Terry and Steve Warren for their nephew, Staff Sergeant Jesse Cottle, his wife Kelly, and baby Grace. Jesse lost both of his legs in an ID explosion several years ago. They wanted to know they're so proud and happy that he has found true happiness. So if you'd like to say thank you to somebody in your family for their service, then why don't you go to hlntv.com slash Robin to get their salute on the air. Ten years and still going strong on that. Was she giving them a piggy bag ride in that photo? I couldn't see, but I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. You know, Google may be preparing to knock out Uber or at least try to, offering its own ride-sharing service. Interesting, though, how it would work. Good morning, Jen. This is the closest to the Jetsons I've seen, right? <laughs> Where are our flying cars? We don't have them yet. <laughs> but Google is getting ready to offer its own ride-sharing service. They're having Google workers test 